One great way to drop your food bill is to buy in bulk and look into buying salvage foods. Hi, I'm Larry. And I'm Hope. And every week we talk about practical frugality. Many of you have been asking us, when are we headed back to the Amish store to buy more bulk food and salvage food? And the answer is we just did it yesterday. So we videoed the whole process. We took you along with us in the car and we showed you what we found at the store. And then when we got back home, we unloaded it all, showed it to you and told you exactly what we paid for each item. We want you to stick with us though until the end of the video because we've got two resources that are gonna be super helpful to you if you're looking to find bulk and salvage food near where you live. We're all in the car. We finally had time. We are headed to the Amish store. We're stocking up on some bulk food and some salvage food. So head out with us as we go down the road about an hour from our house to the Amish store. I'm here. Phil is here in the back seat. Hello. He's going with us. And Larry is with the camera. <laughs> hey, guys. All right, let's go, guys. It is time for a road trip. I love driving a stick. It's like driving a race car. Let us know in the comments fields how many of you know how to drive a stick shift. All right, we're in Canton and uh, it's got a pretty downtown. You know, I love all the baked goods that they have on Saturdays. Yeah, they're generally very, very fresh. You're always going to find a lot of items which came in bulk and they've been broken up into smaller containers. This is the most expensive way to buy them. You're far better off asking if you can buy the large unbroken bags for your family. Oh, nice. They're 50 cents. They're fiery pepper. I literally don't know. There's a lot of items that are unique to the Amish at this store, including all of these men's hats. And of course, an Amish store wouldn't be complete without the kerosene lamps. And boy, they have a really nice variety of them. Hope and I have picked up a few spare parts for ours. You'll also find things like bulk flour and sugar. The flour I noticed had doubled in price. How about this? Oh, that's kettle pop. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. sea salt. I don't that's kind of a fun treat. Let's get one of each. Okay, fair. All right. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. I wouldn't do cinnamon. No to the cinnamon popcorn. No, no. Oh, right, this is where we found the oh, giant. Man. That's a huge thing of olives. Ooh, Should we get it? I know. Isn't like, that how much like the small cans are? At no, well, Aldi? the small cans are like $1.49, but I mean, how would yeah, we go through all that? So this is a Colombian coffee, $2.99 for eight. How many ounces are those? It's vanilla oat. Maybe a big enough part. Yeah, it will have the bottom thing. Mm -hmm. Here, this is this is 99 cents. This is good in August of 2022, so it's okay. still August. Right. These are these are dated this month, though. These are still oh, fresh. Then get them. Yeah, let's get these. Same price. Yeah, 99. Yep. Well, by all means. Okay, we're gonna clean them out. Yep, yeah, clean them out. <clears throat> Here, I got it. Okay, does that work well? How many do we get? We have five. We have five. One of the vanilla ones and four of the original ones. Silk almond dark chocolate. Oh, fine. How much is that? 75 cents. You can, you can drink it on the way home. Let's get a couple of them. Do you want one? You want one of those on the yeah. way home? Sure. Fun. You don't get those kind of things okay. very much. All right. Okay. All right. How much is the lime juice? Uh, $1.99 for 32 ounces. Wow. It's a good price. Not bad. 
If I could find um, some candy while we're here in the markdown area for my class, it would make me super happy. Mm -hmm. Barbecue rib rub. How much is that? Dollar or two ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tofu left? I do have some tofu left. You do have some tofu, but we wouldn't want the whole thing. Uh, Mom, they have saltine crackers here. Aren't they out at Aldi? What's the price? One nineteen. Oh. Yeah, heck yeah. Get a couple of them? Get yeah, four of them? Okay, so we're gonna get, look at these tortillas. Okay. Oh, those are huge. <laughs> They're huge. How much are they? I can't read it. Dollar ninety. Dollar forty-nine. Dollar forty-nine. Yeah. Not bad. These are the bulk items that we ordered. Stick with us because we'll show you when we get home exactly what we ordered and what each of the items cost us. So this is the haul, and it all fits in a fit. <laughs> We've got uh, quite a bit. Uh, grab a couple of those silk almonds out of there. Okay. Snack for on the way home. Oh yeah. Got to have road snacks. Yep. You, you, Tell you. us your favorite road snacks. We're doing silk, dark chocolate silk almond milk. Oh my gosh, that sounds good. And then over here, we've got this and more there. And Philip has room to sit in there. What do you think, Philip? It's a pretty good haul. Mm hmm. All right, we're home. We're going to take everything in. We'll take it down in the studio and we'll show you exactly what we bought and exactly what it cost. And we got back from our trip to the Amish store just, in, just before this all broke out. We showed you some of the items that we admired in the store, but what actually made it into the shopping cart and made it home in the car we're going to show you now as you noticed in the video the store not only has bulk items it also has salvage food so we're going to start as always that we do with these amish food hauls we're going to start with the salvage food items let's go all right so we found this silk oat milk now, whenever you're shopping salvage, just be sure to pay attention to whatever the stop date is. This has a stop date, a sell-by date of August of 2022. And this is still August of 2022 right now. It's marked down to 99 cents and we got five of them. Real lime juice is up next. This is a really large bottle of lime juice. We got three of them. They were $1.99 each. Check out the size of these tortillas. Tortillas bigger than your head. <laughs> these are the, I think they gotta be 16 inch tortillas. It really honestly doesn't say on the package. There are 12 of them in here, $1.49 for each package, and we got five packages. We wanted some small flour tortillas too. My flour tortillas, when I make them from scratch, I estimate they're about four, four and a half cents each. These came out to five cents each. There's 10 in the package and they were 50 cents a package. So you know what, for that money, it's close enough to what I'm making them from scratch for. So I bought 10 packages. Corn tortillas, we like them when we do Mexican. There are 12 corn tortillas in here. They were 50 cents a package and we bought six packages. By the way, tortillas, I, I don't know if you've ever tried to freeze them, but I have very successfully frozen tortillas. So no, we're not going to use all of those tortillas before they would go stale, but most of them are going in the freezer. Tell me in the comment section, do you freeze tortillas and have you had luck doing that? Chow mein noodles, anybody else like a fan of chow mein noodles like I am? I think these things are so good. $1.49 a package. Larry is a huge fan of these. It's Colombian coffee flavored with vanilla oat milk. They had them in stock last time we were there and they still had them this time when we went $2.99 for eight of them. Gluten-free red lentil fiery hot chips. I know it's a lot of adjectives, but when you put them all together, it sounds really, really good. 50 cents a package. Uh, these actually, are, they got a kick to them, I'm telling you, but we thought these would be really good over some uh, homemade taco salads. We had them for lunch and they are really, really good. 
saltine crackers. I know this is like a weird thing to buy from the bulk and salvage food store. This was not salvage food. This was stuff that they had bought from their Aldi's and put on the shelves at their store. $1.39 a box for saltine crackers. And it's running about $1.25, $1.30 a box at our Aldi. But the problem is we have not been able to find them in our Aldi for months. I'm not kidding you. And so when we saw them, we bought four packages of these from the Amish store. Hostess, hot dog buns, you can't beat that. They were 50 cents each if you bought individual ones, but if you bought four in a larger box, then it was 99 cents for the whole box. So you paid about 25 cents for a package of Hostess hot dog buns. We bought eight packages. We always allow ourselves snack money when we go to the bulk food store. This time it was kettle popcorn and uh, this is everything bagel flavored, and this is sea salt, and they were 99 cents a package. On to the bulk food. This is really where the rubber meets the road, right? Because the whole idea of buying in bulk is to be able to get food for less per ounce than you would. If you went to the traditional grocery store, the question is, how much in the past year has this bulk food gone up? Let's talk about it. Before we get started, I should tell you that this is how I track the food prices. So this sheet tells me exactly what I've paid for 50 pounds of oats the last four times that I have bought oats. So I can instantly look at this and I can tell exactly how much the price of oats has gone up. What this sheet is telling me is that this bag of oats right now cost me $42.50. But when I bought it nine months ago, it was $28.50. And that means that it has increased in price by 50%. 25 pounds of brown rice, this was $21.50. 25 pounds of white rice, this was $20.50. So the brown rice was a dollar more. Uh, 10 months ago, for these same packages, I think I paid $17.50 for the white rice, $18.50 for the brown rice. So they have gone up a little bit in price. 50 pounds of unpopped yellow popcorn. It was $32.50, that's what we just paid for it. A year ago, we paid $24.50, which means the price increase amounts to 32% over the past 12 months. 50 pounds of steel cut oats, this was $44. We bought it a year ago, it was the exact same price per pound as we got for the old fashioned oats. So it has gone up about the same amount, the same percentage as the regular old fashioned rolled oats, which is about 50%. Here was the surprise of the trip, lentils. We paid $29.99, and a year ago when we bought them, when they were $30.50, which for all intents and purposes means they really have not gone up in price at all in the last 12 months. Here's the long and short of everything that we just showed you. The whole amount that we paid for this shopping trip was just about $240, which is what we average every time we go to the Amish store to buy bulk foods and salvage foods. Now, did we get as many of the salvage food this time as we did last time? Probably not, but you need to look to see which items have increased most in price and those which have not gone up very much or at all, like the lentils. Go ahead and make sure that you're doubling down and getting a good amount of those items which have not increased as much in price. And that is how you play the game of keeping your grocery budget low. You like the form I showed, you can get your very own copy along with a whole lot of information about how to keep your grocery budget low. It all comes in the Grocery Super Saver Bundle. It's a bundle of five eBooks and it is priced right now, super low price of $22. I'm gonna make sure there's a link to it, guys, in the description of the video. Hey, that was fun. And now, as we promised, two resources that you'll find super helpful if you're interested in learning more about finding bulk food and salvage food in your your area. The first resource I just literally today became aware of. It's a website and I am super impressed with it. It is called uniquely by salvagefood.com. I'm going to make sure there's a link to it in the description of the video. I was really impressed with the website. Super easy to navigate. Not only that, here's the most important thing. 
The link that I'm gonna give you in the video description is a link to the page that shows an up-to-date list of the bulk and salvage food stores in the United States. So if you live in the US, you're looking in your area, then you're gonna to wanna to head over to that website. Now, it not only is it impressive because it gives a complete list, but it has an interactive US map. So you can just click right on the state where you live and it'll list all of the details for you. I really, really enjoyed looking at the website. How fun. And the second resource <laughs> is that a while back we did a video where we gave you all of our tips and strategies to find bulk and salvage food in your area. So if you wanna take a look at that video, it is right over there. <laughs> Give it a look.